Fantasia and I'm going to be showing y'all how I bleach and pluck this closure I got from Crown Hair Collection. This is the closure and what I'm going to need is a bowl, some bleaching powder and I'll insert the picture of the container the bleaching powder comes in. This is the container. And I'm going to use some 20 volume developer and a brush. So I don't have any gloves, but I would suggest you guys not try to do this without gloves at home because you can burn your skin. I'm going to use a half a scoop of bleach. And then I'm going to use the 20 volume developer until I get the consistency that I want. I want it to be really thick and consistency. I don't want it to be able to flop off of the brush easily. So I'm just gonna mix in little by little until I get the right consistency that I want. So now I am done and I've gotten the mixture to the consistency that I want. I'm just going to show you the cream developer that I use close up. You can use any developer but this is just the one that I decided to use. So now on to the closure. So the method that I use is a fail proof method. So what I do is I only bleach the middle part of the closure because just in case I mess up, I could always just go back and change the part on the closure. This is a three-part closure. You can do this for one or three-part closures as well. However, if you bleach the whole closure and you mess up your bleaching, the whole closure will be ruined. But if you only bleach the middle part and you mess up, you can switch either side of the closure that you would like to use. So this is the reason I do this. So now, as you can see, it's very thick. It won't even come off the brush I, will, I have to tap down on the closure for it to come off the brush so I'm just tapping it down the middle I'm not using a lot that's why I didn't make a lot just tapping it down the middle that's all you have to do do not press into it because you don't want to bleach the hair on the other side of the clothes you have to be very gentle so now I'm just going to leave that there for no more than 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes only. If you don't, you will ruin your closure. So this is the closure and I'm going to be taking this shimmer and light shampoo to wash the closure out. But first what I'm going to do is rinse the closure. Now that I've rinsed the closure, you can see the little dots on the closure are brown and not blonde. I do them brown because brown matches with my skin and my scalp better than blonde would. That's why I do not bleach my closure for a long time. So now I'm just shampooing it to get the brassiness out so that it can be more brown. Shampooing it with the shimmering lights it is a purple shampoo that cancels out orange tones i'm also going to go in with the conditioner that comes along with it so i shampoo it twice and i also go ahead and shampoo the closure as well then now i'm going to be, be i'm going to be very generous with the conditioner and i'm just gonna press that in through and then i'm going to rinse it out Now I'm going to be plucking the closure. So what you need is a foam head. 
you can use any foam head that you have you're only using it for the top part of the closure and you're gonna need some mousse i usually don't use this mousse i would suggest a lot of body mousse if you have any but i just use this because this is what i have on hand it's not much in here so it's not gonna come out foam but it's the same product so it works just the same so after i put a lot of that on there i'm going to comb it in then i'm going to be parting it where I want it to be parted I'm gonna straighten out the part but I'm gonna comb it down and smooth that product in really good before I do that here's where I'm parting and you're gonna see me part a lot through this part of the tutorial I like my parts to be pretty long, so I'll part the closure all the way in half and then I'll use a small section that will be able to cover up the back of my track because I do like my parts to be pretty long and natural looking. So now I've given you an up close view. What I'm gonna do is place the closure on a part of the head that is completely white so that you guys can see it better. And there were actually hairs on the underside of the closure, so I just pulled those out. I'm not really sure why it was like that. So my method for plucking is just to part out the pieces of hair that you don't want to be there and pull them. Now you can use the tweezers if you would like, but I don't always use tweezers. I do sometimes, mostly only when I'm doing my clients here, I will use tweezers, but when I'm doing my own wigs or doing wigs for other people, I usually um, pull, pull them out because it's easier for me to do that on a foam head than it is for me to pluck on a foam head. So I'm just going to continue to part and pull out the hair that I want till I get the part to the thickness that I want it to be. The way that this closure was made, it was really thick and close together hairs on the front region. So I'm mostly going to be plucking or pulling from that region of the closure. But I do go back a little bit and you'll see that.
So right now I'm just going to be showing you guys how the closure looks on my skin and it's literally just blending into my skin so well. I'm going to show you guys up close. It looks really, really good. It's just meshing into my skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is what the closure looks like. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.